Hey everyone, Oliver from Data Academy here. In this new playlist, we're going to be doing some beginner Python projects. These projects will be perfect for you if you've just finished the Python Tutorials for Beginners playlist by Data Academy. Our first project that we're going to do is called a code generator. I found this project on datacoast.io and I found it on the webpage 45 fun and unique Python project ideas for easy learning. If you scroll down a little, you will see right here for Python project ideas beginner level, it is the first one. It says, create a code generator that takes text as input and replaces each letter with another letter and outputs the encoded message. So some of the things that we're going to use in this project are strings, lists, dictionaries, and for loops. These can all be learned from my Python tutorials for beginners playlist. And I recommend you guys watch episodes two, three, four, six, and 11 before beginning this project. Of course, watching the entire playlist would be helpful, but these are the essential parts in order for us to properly complete this project. So now how do we go about this? Remember in the project prompt, it said we're going to take letters and replace them with another letter. So that means we're going to be creating a mapping. It's going to look something like this. If we have the letters A, B, C, D, E, we can map these to various other letters such as R, big T, Q, S, and P. This is just an example, of course. So to accomplish this, first we need to figure out what letters are actually used in our original message. So we can create a set of the original message. And then after we're going to map every single character from the set to new characters. So now we've made our mapping, but we still haven't encoded our message. So we're going to encode our message by, first I'm going to move everything up a bit. And then we're going to iterate through the original message. And then we're going to encode every letter by replacing it with the new letter. And finally, we're going to print our encoded message. You might be thinking, wow, this is so easy. I can just create a mapping the first time and I won't need to worry about it again. But let me give you a challenge. But let me give you a challenge. The mappings cannot be the same every time. We need to generate a new random set of mappings for every message the user gives us. And in the next video, we will actually be coding out this project. See you in the next one.